Mr. President, there's been a lot said about the Affordable Care Act on the floor of this chamber for five years. I was here when we passed the Affordable Care Act. I'm here today as it's being implemented. There have been lots of things said about it, but this year marks one of the things we need to recognize as a major hit to small business. Bernie Marcus, the, for, the founder of Home Depot and the former chairman and CEO, opined yesterday in the Wall Street Journal about the cost of Obamacare to American business. A hidden tax, tax has been unveiled on the American people, the American ratepayer, and the American small business person. A tax assessment of $8 billion in 2014 is being levied, levied by the Affordable Care Act against every insurance company that smells to the, sells to the small and medium-sized market to every insurance company that sells a Medicare Advantage policy or a Medicaid Advantage care policy. Eight billion is the 2014 assessment, and it graduates up to where in 2018 it's 14 billion, 300 million dollars. That assessment is an arbitrary amount of money that was used as a pay for in the Obamacare legislation. It's assessed against the insurance companies based on their market share of, of the insurance market in small and medium-sized carriers, Medicare Advantage, and Medicaid managed care plans. It represents about a $500 per year rate increase on every one of those policyholders because, as we all know, when an insurance company has an added cost to the administration of their policy, that cost is obviously passed on to the consumer. $500 a year is $5,000 in the next decade. It also represents over the next decade the loss, as estimated by CBO and the NFIB, of 146,000 jobs. Now let's think for a minute. The main topic we've had this year in the Senate of the United States is income inequality, the need to lower unemployment, and the need to create jobs. Yet the signature piece of legislation of this administration is going to cost us because of a new tax being levied against insurance companies who provide health insurance to the American people is going to cost 146,000 jobs. It's another example of how we need to rethink the approach of the Affordable Care Act. We have to recognize all the things it has done from a standpoint of taxes, cost, and lost jobs and lost wages, and reform that legislation and repeal that legislation and get it right for the people of the United States of America. And I commend Bernie Marcus on bringing this to the people's attention. I, pen, I commend him on all he has done for my state and for our country, and I hope he'll keep on giving us his opinion of what's best for the United States of America.